Perfect piping is so easy when you know how to use the right feet. For this we're going to use a cording or piping foot and the zipper foot shown here. Let's look at the cording foot a little bit closer. You'll see there's a hole on the top for the needle to go through and a large groove to accommodate the cord. And it's very simple to put on. You can purchase them generic or you can buy ones that come with your machine. And for this one I'm just going to have to turn in a quick turn of the screw. Here we have the piping, otherwise known as the cording foot. This is a one quarter inch. They come in various depths. We're using a one quarter inch. Here I've cut a piece of fabric one and a half inches wide and it strips and I will position it so that the cord part is fitting inside that groove. It takes a little finagling. Sometimes you have to lift the foot up but it will work really nice when you lower the foot it actually holds the fabric in place and it lets you sew along the edge of that cord without sewing the cord itself. And You can see how simple that works. I'm going to do the same thing now and do it using the fabric that we're going to have in this next project. So you can see it's the same process. Once I have all the piping made I will go over to the square pillow itself and I will take the top and I will actually round the corners because it's much easier to go around a slightly rounded corner for square. I attach the piping on as you can see using that same foot and notice how it's laying just inside the pillow and of course I'm not using pins because anybody who knows me I try to avoid pins as much as possible. It's much easier for me. I'm quicker on the straight way. I slow down a little bit as I go around the curve. When we are done going around all the curves and we get back to where we started, we'll have to fold our fabric one end into the other. I will show you that. So I'm just sewing around till I get to where I started. And then you'll see that I have folded one piece of fabric into the other. And then I'll go back in and I will stitch that shut. So I'm getting right back to that point and you can see where it is and I'm going to fold one inside the other and then I'll stitch that shut. I go over to the curve areas and I'll clip them. So that's four sets of curves that I will go around and I will clip so that they will lay nicely. We will then take the backing and with the curves rounded as well, we are going to attach the backing to the front. We will switch to our zipper foot. And you can see I'm matching up my curves. And if I want to add pins, that's fine. Um, I try to do that so that nothing shifts. So that's one of those instances where I may add a few pins just to keep everything nice and stable. So you can watch me as I get ready to sew that. One of the things I will need to do is I will line the fabric under the zipper foot and then you're going to see me I'm going to actually move the needle over as far to the left as I can so I'm lifting up the fabric I'm going to butt that zipper foot as tight against that cording as I can get it and that's why you never see my stitches on the cording this is where I really apply the pressure so I butt up that zipper foot and then I'm moving that needle over. I don't know if you noticed that. Let me hit it one more time so you can see that. So the needle moves over and now I will begin stitching. I don't start um, and finish in the same place. I leave a little space because this particular pillow is just going to be stuffed. So I'm going to leave, leave an opened area. And you can see I have pins and I remove them. And I went all the way around the pillow. I'm just sewing completely around, leaving one opening. So you can see me pulling that away. And let me show you that opening. I have a pin holding it. I will go ahead and clip the curves on the back end of the pillow before I flip it right side out so that that too will lay nicely because we have the clipping on one side, we want it on the other. I could trim it a little closer to the edge if I want to do that too, if I want less of a seam allowance. It's a small pillow, it's not going to matter that much. So now I'm turning it right side out. And this is even without pressing. You can see how nice and tight that piping is in there and you're not looking at additional stitches. It just lays in there so beautifully. And once you're done to this point, you stuff it tie on a bow if you like 
Very simple to do if you know which feet to create that perfect piping.